according to the religion of Abraham, uh, the Israelites are children of God, right? But the Quran, Allah says, no, you're not children of God, you're only slaves. The only type of relationship you can have with God is a slave to master relationship. Because that Messiah was supposed to be Muhammad, but the Jews denied The Messiah was supposed to be Muhammad? Yeah, yeah. he was the Messiah, he's the way to Messiah. The brothers of the Israelites yeah. are Israelites, yeah, of course, yeah. right? So that's why, Joseph's yep, and, and so that's why the prophet who's going to be from among their brothers is an Israelite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's God. It's God. It's God. How are you? I'm pretty good, man. Avery. Abraham? Avery. Oh, no, I'm Avery. Avery. Yeah. Avery. Nice to meet you guys. But yeah, uh, we, we really want the, the Muslims to know the truth. Um, we really care about about Muslims. We feel like they're being lied to about their religion. A lot of stuff is being concealed. Even some of their scholars have said so. Um, that they don't talk about certain things in public for a reason. And so we want to put that stuff out there just to encourage you guys to really think about this religion and consider the true Christ. You know? Yeah. And so that's the only way where salvation is. That's what Jesus tells us. And so that's what we're here to share with Muslims. Uh, you guys like Old Testament? But both, yeah, both. We believe the whole Bible. The, the Torah, the Torah, the Old Tanakh, and the Gospel, the New Testament, Paul's letters, the letters of the apostles, so, Do you guys yeah. believe in Abraham? Of course, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, He's God's would you friend. say that Abraham made a cult? No, Abraham didn't make a cult. I would say, I don't, we don't believe that uh, Islam is in touch with Abraham at all. And there's a reason why, because when we look at the tenets of Islam, it doesn't match the tenets of Abraham. Uh, give you me know? an example. Like, so, all right, so for example, um, according to the religion of Abraham, uh, the Israelites are children of God, right? But the Quran, Allah says, no, you're not children of God, you're only slaves. The only type of relationship you can have with God is a slave to master relationship. While the God of Abraham says, you're my children, you know? And so that's a direct contrast well, to what Abraham teaches. The tradition says that the, we are all the children of God. Where? al Nas Ayatollah Hadith tradition, which is narrated by Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Where he said that the Khalq of creation are the children of God. What Hadith says that? Hadith by Imam Muslim in Bukhari. Sahih Muslim? Sahih Muslim. Like, well, do you, let's look that up, because I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah, please do look it up if you like to do that kind of thing. A absolutely. Like, okay. it, it, yeah. That's nice that you're actually open to that, that, Yeah, but I will never you say know, that again you know, if, I, if you correct that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got like, uh, I got like Sunnah.com right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to get the hat. Yeah, yeah, if you pull it up for me, I'll check it out and, and look at it. But yeah. Mm, shoot. Okay, here it is. So if you, uh, if you look up, uh, there's a hadith. Mind if I take this? Yeah, okay. sure, yeah. So, is Islam Q&A? Yeah. I love this. I love this website. All right. So this, it's a hadith tradition. Right? Let's see here. So, what is the ruling when we believe we are all children of Allah? Basing it on a weak hadith. Da 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 da. I'm trying to find the, uh, <laughs> they quote a lot of Bible scriptures. Yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to find the hadith. Believe in all the books too. You yeah. Know? You got in the Torah and the uh, Injil. That's right. good. But so that's. You just believe, you know, in, in the Bible itself, it says, you know, like Jesus, he bowed down to God. He called people to God as well. And he called God Father, right? And so that's that's important for us. So, so I'm, I'm having can, trouble. You got to find it for me. I think we me. can get to the conversation of when we say children here, we don't mean biological children of God because no Correct. one biologically. Same. So would you say that that would be a metaphor that we are the children of God, as in He is our Father, but He is not our biological Father. Allah is within. All he's of us. He's our. So, so can you? Because I didn't see the hadith in there, yeah. brother. So yeah. just just being honest I'm with you. I'm gonna get it for you again. All right, for sure. So. Um, yeah, so we don't believe as Christians that we are biological you, children of you God. Wanna, if you want to screenshot you. it and take it, but that's the Musanad, Musanad al Bazar. Al Bazar, yeah. So this isn't in like Sahih Muslim or Al Bukhari or nothing it like is that. Also, in, like as you know, you can find it in multiple books. Okay, let me try. Yeah, if you could, if 
you want to take that, that's the high. But yeah, I'll take this. What's to say? So, Hudayfa reported, the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, peace and blessings be upon him, said, all of you are the children of Adam, and Adam was created from dust, that people might stop boasting of their fathers, yeah. lest they become that's more we'll significant that? to yeah. Allah. But that's then, Muhammad also say that, this one too. Yeah. So, so, so it doesn't... One, it's one yeah. statement, and then yeah. you know, I want to add on to that, you know, the, when the Prophet passed away, he said, there is no difference between an Arab and a non-Arab, a black or a no, white. That's that's not the moment black. himself. They said, I'm in, I come from an individual family, so she can't say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so wait. So, so, uh, so let's try to yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Hold on. Yes, so, so this one doesn't say that they they were children of Allah. It says we're children of Adam. Uh, let me read it again. Yeah. So, all of you are the children of Adam. Adam was created from dust. Some people might boasting about their fathers, lest they become more significant to you. I'm get so why is it very important to be a child, a child of God? Okay, because that's what the Torah and the Gospel teach. The, the Torah and the Gospel teach that we are children of God. Those who come to believe in God and things of this nature, He adopts us as His children, right? And that's an, uh, an idea of also salvation. So you're and Islam is not connected with uh, yeah, so like, Abraham? Uh, yes, uh, uh, that's what I would say. And, I, and so the, the reason why I say like, this is because yeah. he, he, the Quran and the Hadith, what Muhammad taught, it contradicts what the previous prophets taught. So that's the that's the biggest thing for us is that he because as a prophet, he's supposed to affirm and confirm like they're supposed to be, all be in the same line. Right. They're supposed to be all the same thought. But if this guy is coming, teaching a whole different thing, it's then it's not the so. And, and, that, and that's what we're here for. And you know, the Bible says, you know, that Muhammad is coming. It forecasts that, you know, there's where. No, the Jesus Deuteronomy said 14, 14. Deuteronomy 14, 14. Deuteronomy 14? Deuteronomy 14, 14. I think you're thinking of 18, brother. Yeah, 18. 18, 18? Yeah. yeah. Right, but, but so. That's not a but, but, yeah. So explain that to you. Yeah. Of course, yeah, for sure. So let's, let's look at this really quick. Um, and so let's see here. But let, let, let me show you, because um, Deuteronomy 14 is a, an interesting chapter because it mentions something important. It's almost right. identical to the, you know, when uh, the revelation to Prophet Muhammad that he would be like Moses and Jesus. Well, yeah, well, check that out. So that, that's why we're here, to have this discussion, to examine it, to see if that's true. Can you get in the Quran, can you go to chapter 5, verse 18? We want to contrast this. Chapter 5, verse 18. So, here in the, and this is the Torah, right? This is Deuteronomy. Verse 1, it says, People of Israel, you are the Lord's children. So when you mourn for the dead, you must not cut yourselves or shave your forehead. So he's, he's giving them laws because they're children of yeah, God. Did you go to that? The, yeah, I'm, I'm about to go there for you right here. I just wanted to show you uh, that really quick. That the yeah, I, I mean, like, the thing okay. is about that, it, the, the relationship is that God doesn't have actual Biological. Like Biological. Yeah, because he's he's not a he's not a physical he's not a physical being. That's what the Quran is saying. Just, like, okay, thank you. Yeah. I don't want to point, but this is really our contention is this part here. Like this is where we say Jesus is God. That's where our only point of contention. Like, for sure. Love Jesus, Other than that. We, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. We, yeah. We'll, we'll uh, step by step, fellas. We'll go through every. We'll hear all. We're here all day. If you guys are open to it, we could talk all day. Probably get some snacks. I'll get y'all some lemonade or whatever. You know, say that's hot. And so. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So so this is uh, chapter five verse. 18 um, that the direct contrast to what the verse I just read right that the children of Israel are God's children but this is what Muhammad says or uh, well Allah tells Muhammad to say it says both the Jews and the Christians say we are sons of Allah and his beloved that's what we just read in Deuteronomy right in the Torah right that they are children of God and he loves them but he says say why then does he punish you for your sins? No, you are but men, right? And of men he hath created. He forgives who he pleases, he punishes who he pleases, and to Allah belongs the dominion and the heavens and the earth and all that is in between, and to, unto him is the final goal. Yeah, well, it's clear there that God is trying to make it clear that we can have a superior complex to say, hey, we know we're the chosen people and no one else. God is trying to say that he can choose whom he wills. Just like he chooses sometimes the wretched and he saves them. You know? mm -hmm. There's no sinner without a, you know, a future and no sin without a past. That we have to you know, understand that what God is trying to do is remove pride from the heart of men that think 
hey, we're his children, that means we're going to be inheriting, you know, the children inherit the fathers. I don't disagree with that, but the only, the only part that I want us to both to acknowledge is that this verse clearly rejects the idea that Israelites or even Christians are children of God, while Moses in the Torah taught that they were the children of God. You know what I'm saying? I don't, again, we're, I'm not, we're not disagreeing with you that the children of God. You know, okay. But, like, but the you know, Quran does. When we say like Jesus, Jesus bowed to God, to you know, this is saying Jesus is God. That's so, yeah, so we'll, we'll get we'll get to that in a second. But but do we can we agree on this point so far that the Quran does? I can agree with you that we're all the children of God. But I will disagree with you to say that you know what he's a child of God and you're not, and so he's chosen and he's saved and you're not saved. So then the Quran would be the Quran would the Quran disagrees with you. We correct because the children of Israel themselves, who Moses saved, they were giving themselves this type of elevation. No, the, remember. A Remember. Conclusion on that is yeah. anything that the Quran says that differs from the Torah and the Injil is actually a completion. So the Quran says it's, it's supposed to confirm it, right? Not to confirm it. Anything can change. So alcohol, no, no. no. That first, you know, it was now remember, bad. guys. Listen, listen. So look, chapter three, verse three of the Quran. Correct anything that was, you know. So, example, so many you're 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 partly right, but it just just a little. So the Quran says that it came to confirm the Torah and the Gospel. It literally says that chapter 3 verse... Your religion for you. It never says that about the Jews and the Christians. It only says that, it only says that about the Muslims. That he came, like today, he has completed and perfected your religion for you. Talking to Muhammad and the rest of the Ummah. That's what it claims, but that's what we're, that's what we're t testing. We're testing to see if it is the religion of Abraham. It's, it's the, the Kaaba, you know, Abraham initiated the Kaaba. We still follow the tradition from there. It was just corrected from there. People went wrong. People went wrong even along the way. People were, you know, doing sacrifice. I just passed, you know, yesterday. People were doing, you know, the sacrifice for the animals. Even when they were doing that, they were doing it incorrectly at some point, painting the Kaaba with it. And then the, the, the Quran came and said, this God is not looking for your the, the, the blood that you should, you're putting on the Kaaba. He's looking more for the consciousness of your heart. So it came to correct certain things that were out of order. People Fine. practice wrong. No problem. So that's what anything that the Quran confirms or corrects is how we would move, you know, because we believe in all of the religions and we believe in the, the, the So you do believe that the Israelites are children of God? They are. I, mean, in, I do, but I would not give them their specific because I think what God is challenge, challenging their pride to say that. In Islam, for example, which is different from Christianity, is we don't have a monopoly on truth. We don't say, hey, we're the sa saved people. You yeah, you do. No, we don't. The, the Quran literally says that you're the best of the people for no, the for no, the people no. that you uh, bring to Islam. Arabic that's translated best is like, it's a middle nation. And middle in the mountain would be like that top of the mountain to say that it's a balanced nation between Moses and Jesus. So what if I showed you the Hadith that literally clarifies it and says you are the best for mankind as you bring them into Islam? But then if you finish that verse, if you are following good and Thing. Yes, so yes. So anyone who does that is the best. Oh, if you, as long as you're in Islam. Yeah. No, no, no. Believe Islam in one God. Submission. Believe in one you know, God. Christianity is named after Christ, right? Judaism mm -hmm. after the land of Judah. Mm -hmm. Islam, Islam is not meant to be named after Muhammad. Mm -hmm. It's named, it means submission. It doesn't mean... Uh, surrender, know, really. Surrender, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's not named after a, a land or a person. It's more of like, it transcends time and space. Okay, so let, let's, let's go through this then. Um, I really, I, and I appreciate you guys coming with this attitude and this conversation because a lot of people aren't willing to talk, <laughs> they're not really to talk to us. But let's go through the Deuteronomy 18 since we promised but that, like, right? You guys also yeah. come, I want to just clarify, you guys come from a place of like education and everything. Of course, like, we're, you, like, this is like also a little bit, you know, like, it seems a little bit like, you know, like. Well, he does, he does the same thing to us. Oh, he does? Yeah, so that is. It, no, no. Uh, I think they're celebrating the, the holiday or something, but he does the same to us. But yes, um, but remember, uh, when, he, when he brought up the... Deuteronomy yeah, uh, not, not Deuteronomy, the, the one about the children, the Hadith. I said, hey, I've never seen that. Let me see it. And I'll, you know, if, we, if you could show me that, I'll, I'll correct it. But, you know. We're learning something new every day. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right, so this is Deuteronomy 18, fellas. And this is what it says. Instead, he will choose... Uh, one of your own people to be a prophet just like me and you must do what that prophet says right so he'll choose from among your people a prophet like me so he's talking to the Israelites so number one this prophet has to be an Israelite because Abraham had Abraham had Isaac 
right? Mm -hmm. And then he had Ishmael. I know that some people think that Ishmael is a legitimate son. No, he's not. He's a legitimate son. Yeah. They agree to that. From 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 Isaac came a, a lineage. Came of Muslim, the tribes. Yeah. And then from Isaac, Ishmael, we believe from Ishmael came then Muhammad. I know, yeah. which we can get into later, but. Uh, uh, just talking about the Israelites, yeah. Muhammad's not an Israelite, he right? He's not from Isaac, right. from Ishmael. Yes, so, so, the, so this says that it has to be, that there's going to come from the Israelites, right? So this prophet is going to come from among them, their people, yeah. an Israelite. Among the people of the Arabia. You can no, but he's going to come from them, not to yeah, them. Yeah. It's going to come from them, right? So he will choose one of your own people, yeah. right? So it has to be an Israelite. And then it says, uh, who's like me, um, which Moses was an Israelite, right? It says, you were asking for a prophet the day you were gathered at Mount Sinai, right? Still talking to the Jews, yeah. Israelites, and said to the Lord, please don't let us hear your voice or see this terrible fire again. If we do, we will die. Then the Lord told me, Moses, they have said the right thing. So when I speak to them, I will choose one of them to be a prophet like you. I will give my message to that prophet who will tell the people exactly what I have said. So the person has to be an Israelite, right? So we, we know we know these the common like uh like the common verses that you know a lot of Muslims it's a, a misconception that Israelites we that we understand. Come from Abraham. Mm -hmm. you know, they, come from Abraham. they come from from Jacob specifically yeah, though. But Jacob's father is Abraham. You can mm -hmm. agree that Jacob's father is Abraham. And yeah, so Abraham. But they're not. They're they're different from Ishmaelites. Not a legitimate son because I know a lot of the Jews will say Ishmael is an illegitimate son, and they disagree that he was the one that was. Yeah, no. Nah, Abraham married yeah. Hagar, and there they have. So, they, yeah. so you, you agree that he has two sons. Yeah, of course. So God had create, came from them. He he had brought. That's why God says in the Quran. Sent from among them a messenger from among themselves, meaning he was from among the, the, the Arabs. Arabs people at the time. That's why the Jews denied him because he wasn't from among them. They were like saying what you said thousands of years ago. Uh, but the reality is, you know, you guys are waiting for the Messiah's death, I suppose. Or to come back. To come back, right? Mm -hmm. Because that Messiah was supposed to be Muhammad. Because that Messiah was supposed to be Muhammad. But Denied. The Messiah was supposed to be Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, he was the Messiah. He's the way to Messiah. But they denied him, so now they're waiting for the Messiah. Years. years. Wait, 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 wait. That's that's new to me. So you, you said the, 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 the man you were describing, and there's a part that he's unlettered. They said to him, "Read." And he says, "I cannot read." It's in there. It's in. It's in yes. No, no, it's not, brother. Let me let me get it for you. So so the there's a verse that you are talking about yeah. as Isaiah chapter 29. If, if you if you get up to Deuteronomy 18, 18 actually. Yeah, just read it. Brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them. Yeah, we just read that. 18, 18 or 14, 18? No, we read Deuteronomy 18. Eight, I, I read 15 to 18. Deuteron Deuteronomy 18, and I read 15. Yeah. How come it's different 15 here? 18. I will raise from among them a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee. Maybe you're reading a different version. It could be a different oh, English I will English put my translation. Word in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them. It's just so clear to me, you know. Okay, so, alright, so yeah. who are the brethren of the Israelites? So, of course, I agree with you, if Israelites are the chosen people of God, God had chosen them, He gave them all the message. No, 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 but who are, who are, so, no, we gotta, we gotta be specific here, guys, because this is important. If this is about Muhammad, this is big. And I'll, and I have to, because I believe in this, I have to accept it. Exactly. So we have to examine it if he fits, okay? So let's go step by step. So if, so who are the brethren of the Israelites? Brethren is like Jacob had 12 sons. Uh, Joseph is one of them. You know, they, you know his story, beautiful story. They betray him and he becomes the richest man in Egypt. You know, beautiful story. So, it's, so it's Israelites. Quran, chapter 12 in the Quran, beautiful story. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the Israelites, the, their stories are mentioned. The Israelites. Five of your prophets are mentioned in the Quran. Yeah, but that's good. So look, so the the brothers of the Israelites yeah. are Israelites. Of course. Yeah. Right. So that's why. Joseph's kids. Yep. And and so that's why the prophet, who's going to be from among their brothers, is an Israelite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Israelites go back. Like, you know. No, they could, they start from Jacob. Yeah. They, so so Jacob Jacob is is Israel. And he's the one who birthed the they had twelve sons, and that's where the tribes come from. So the prophet has to be an Israelite, fellas. Trace it back, and it all comes back to Abraham. That's why we're called Abrahamic faith. But how how do you know that that Muhammad traces back to Abraham? The story is really clear. I mean, what story? Like, tell me what part, because we, we're here to listen. God comes to him in a dream. He shows him to sacrifice his son. And that's why he was telling you Eid, the celebration. Okay. What do we celebrate? We're celebrating that Abraham is the first Muslim, you know? 
We're celebrating the fact that he was going to sacrifice, but God it's, said It no. says Muhammad was the first Muslim, too, though. Uh, you know, Abraham is the first Muslim, you know? By, by verb, by verb. By verb. I don't get it. That, because uh, we mentioned that this was It means to surrender? surrender? And his son surrendered to him when he said, Abraham God, says, you know, yeah. uh, Muslim. Yeah, when he said God commanded it. So the story that we believe So is Abraham the first Muslim or is Muhammad? Muslim Abraham. So, so is the Quran wrong when it says Muhammad is? Abraham is the first Muslim. Okay, so what if I showed you guys in the Quran? What if I showed you in the Quran that Muhammad said, I am the first Muslim? Where is that? Okay. It's probably through the words of Abraham. I promise, I promise you it's Muhammad's the words. The Quran is through the words of other prophets as well. Okay. All right, so let's see, let's see together. Muhammad. So, do you guys, are you guys from around here? Yeah? That's good. I hope I meet you guys, you guys again, too. I was, I was born into a Christian family. Same thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, so chapter 6, verse 161. Let's see. Thank God for Google. Because I did not have that verse memorized. I just, I saw the picture of it in my head. Well, that's good. We're going to explore it together. Yes, sir. Open to the discussion. The hardest joke in the world. Oh, 161. I'm over here. 121. 161. Goodness, all these verses. So do you guys usually use one, one uh, version of the Bible, or do you do most of that? I mean, most of them are not too far apart, but there are some slight differences even in the translation do you guys use more than one translation? there's the two different translations we have so yeah. we can use the different but the meaning will be not changed might be the word so will you be follow different. one one no we pick up whatever exactly. we have yeah yeah whatever it, like i said any bible the meaning will not change it might be the spelling will like a jacob spell somebody spell like a muhammad spell with the o somebody spell with you so it's spelling can be but the meaning will be the same yeah. Okay. It's been good talking to you guys, you know. Yeah, yeah same, you man. Know, Seriously. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so this is chapter 6, verse 163. It says, No partner that he, uh, no partner has he. This am I commanded, and I am the first of those who bow to his will. There's the so word right there, verily my Lord, and by Abraham. There it is. Yeah, but that's not Abraham speaking. It is. It's it's, Abraham, okay, so let's go. Let's let's go that's above. That's Abraham, right? No, so it doesn't it doesn't say that this is Abraham speaking. It mentions Abraham above, right, and how he is of the religion of the way, but it doesn't. This is Muhammad speaking. The I Remember? To bring up Abraham is because I want to look into a place where we can agree and we can all meet. Yeah, good, good. Stories. So look, so so notice how it says right here in one sixty one. Say right. Have guided me to a way that is straight, a religion of right, the path trod by Abraham. Right. So who's the speaking? Faith. Verily, my Lord Muhammad is speaking. Yeah, so Muhammad is speaking. So Muhammad mentions Abraham, like he's following the same way of Abraham, right? But then he, then we drop down to. Truly, my prayer, my service, and my sacrifice, my life, and I'm. Uh, and you know, da, da. Yeah, I'm yep. no partner. And then mm -hmm. I'm commanded, and I am the first. No, and I'm the first of those who bow to this. Yeah, and so the word would be Muslim, right? Or he is a Muslim. Why do you say that? I mean, I think it just means to like initiate like, you know, prayer. No, it does that not to initiate prayer, man. Come on. First of all, this is a word of Allah. This is from Muhammad. The word. Yeah, I mean, I don't see where this is. Where, where, no, this, where we're is, this is this is supposed to be word of Allah, okay, so not from the Muhammad. There's at no all. mistake in what he said. It is a mistake. We didn't make a mistake. Okay. There's no mistake. So, so, so the problem here is, is that if Abraham was the first Muslim, which the Quran, I guess, says el 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 elsewhere. Because Prophet Muhammad brought Islam as a tradition followed by Abraham. But I thought Abraham did that. The he oneness of God. Is he brought, he brought Tawheed. Yeah, that's, what, that's what it is. The oneness of God. So I'm confused. So Abraham is the first person to follow Islam and, and bringing the oneness of God, you know, to to a religion, to, to the people. So 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 being a Muslim means to surrender to God, what right? Muhammad had was a new. God, yeah. It wasn't yeah. new. It's something that was brought by Abraham as mentioned. That's why exactly. So how can he be the? How can Muhammad be the first then? To submit to Allah. By name, because Prophet Abraham at his time, there were different traditions at the time that God tells us in Baqarah to not really dabble in their way because to them is a nation that is before ours and there's ours we have. Who, who wrote the uh, Surah Baqarah? Uh, God did. God? God did. Yeah. How he did it? Yeah. 
God, you came to the world. No, no, no. God, you know, so, you can't tell me how God looks like. No, no, no. You tell me, tell me that how uh, Surah Bakr and who wrote it and God, Allah came Revelation down. Revelation to Angel Gabriel who came Angel to Gabriel? Moses. Angel Gabriel? Okay, you speak Arabic, huh? Yeah. You can read? Yeah, of Okay. I'm going to give you a Tell me, there is a that Muhammad talked to, uh, Allah talked to Muhammad. Is that oh, Muhammad I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Muhammad talked to Allah. Oh, I love this part. No, yeah. I'll show you exactly where it is. Sure. Surah Al-Najm. Okay, very good. Andrea's okay. card has been signed twice. Surah Al-Najm is right here, which is chapter 53. So, uh, 53 verse 10. When God says that he, when he took him... 53? Yeah, okay, okay. Verse 10. Okay. Oh, hi, Can you read and explain what it is? So this is describing the night journey when Prophet Muhammad went on the night journey. Okay. When he was you talking about? Okay. 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 So you know about it. Okay. So on that night journey, okay. um, some Muslims believe he met God, some Muslims believe he didn't. Right. See God, but I find card and then I do so the no. What's Quran say? We don't worry about so, the people. So, so what's so the Quran say? Now he's saying that he came close, close until he was between Kaaba Qawsani is um, an arrow's length or two or arrows lengths from God Himself, and then he okay. said, Fa ila abdi ma wa God revealed to him, but he revealed to him. So sorry, where is that? that you? Could, could you read that nine? You said that no, nine? no, number ten. Number ten. Then he revealed to his servant when what he he's revealed. Yes. Okay, what, what does that mean? So he revealed to him in that okay. time we believe the prayers, which which is our daily prayers. Okay, so that's who? when he receives them during the Islam Miraj, during the ascension. Yeah, yeah, but when he talked to Allah, I'm, I'm not talking about the prayer. Yeah. When he said that he did, he Allah speak to him by himself. Yes, yeah. he actually that which every yeah, uh, every Muslim does. Show me from there, yes. Yeah, from yeah. Mecca, the Bal Fuad Okay, what what does that mean? Right okay, that. you said earlier close. When he came back, people. This is so interesting that this is an age-old debate. When he came back from the Miraj, people debated him. They said, okay. yeah, they're saying he's calling him a liar. Who's so Allah calling him? Oh, the people of Quraysh. The, okay, the tribe at the time, mm -hmm. whose concern was to keep idolatry going because it was profiting them at the time. No, he, but can you tell me, I know you speak Arabic, so tell me yeah. that where it say that he, uh, we meet, uh, talk to uh, uh, Muhammad. But, well, you just read it. No, he tell, no, 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 tell, tell me where is that, could you please uh, yeah, I was, yeah, read that, read that. What, said, ila what, what does that mean? Which is the revealed to his servant with him. Reveal, okay, revealing is something I Revelation. reveal to God, okay, I'm saying talk to Muhammad, I say that. If Allah talk to, talk God to is revealed to me, everybody, okay, but talk to Muhammad, that's what my question is. Yeah, he, so he spoke to Moses. So no. very well, he did speak to no, Muhammad. Say, sometimes so, directly, sometimes indirectly. Most times through a medium, through the angel Gabriel. Okay, first of all, you're not telling me that he yeah. spoke to Muhammad. You're not, you're not showing me that. You're I'm just showing. saying that. You're not. you telling me. Yeah. You're saying that he went close, and then you're saying I'm that. I'm glad you have this. This is nice. Yeah, I, I do. Like that you I keep do. it in a good yeah. condition. Too. I, I do. Yeah. I do. But you're not proving it. Though. And I know that you have all these places where there's proofs, and I'd love to discuss more because I know you mentioned why we're from here. We might come back again and have further discussion. This but from is good though, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm definitely at 5310 there. No, it's, it's not even just to like only convince each other; it's to strengthen your own. Absolutely. You know, build. You know, if you throw if you throw bricks at a at a house of straws, it's gonna fall. But you know, the more you build, you learn. Yeah, yeah. You learn more about your own faith. For you, for at you. At the end of the day, I I like to agree on the things that we we share. You know, rather than differ. Like the belief in one God is one thing that I feel like it's the closest thing we can come to. That there's one God. You know? guys are monotheistic. Right? Yep. And that's that's the thing. I think okay, at that so, point, God is gonna so, judge every single person based on. What's your name, brother? I'm Musa. 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 Hamza. Musa and Hamza. 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 You guys, where, where are you guys from? What, what are your name? Avery. Avery. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> this is okay. Oh, Gotta say it a few times to remember. What part is it? Egypt. Oh, okay. I, I didn't hear that. Okay, I'm sorry. Guys, this was a fun discussion. What about you? We came to try to, you know, find our brother Adnan here. He might, he might be here next week. He might be. Yeah, y'all take care, man. Please come back again. We're here every week. Oh, my.